Welcome back to Jusant. Let's continue with chapter 5. We've gotten high enough that we seem to have arrived at the land of perpetual storm. This should make things interesting. I can imagine climbing in this isn't going to be very good. Maybe it's going to take our stamina faster. Swinging on a rope might be quite perilous. I don't know. That's a bunch of wind socks everywhere. Looks like the wind is going straight up. I wonder if it can make climbing perhaps easier, actually. In some ways, if it's actually pushing us up any... Like, useful amount. Depending on the direction of the wind, the distance of your jumps may be increased or decreased. Ah, okay. So right now it's going up, but I guess it might change. So let's see, how far can we jump? Oh, whoa! Oh my god. Just one jump is like almost more than a double jump. But I guess I wouldn't help with a side jump at all. Well, it kind of does. We swing here. Oh, wait. No, hold on. The wind is shifting. Sometimes it's going left. What am I supposed to grab onto over there, though? It's hard to tell, but I'm going to jump for it. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even see these. That wasn't the thing to do. <clears throat> this is the thing to do. Let's go! Wind climbing is actually quite fun. Oh, we can ride this thing around. Where do those go? Hmm. 
Hmm. I think critical path is up here on the left. Because that looks like it just keeps going up and up. So I think that's a bonus thing. Oh, yeah. I almost missed this little rock. Whoa! Whew. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's get our stamina back. What is that sound? It's not letting me look the other way. Oh, I think this is the other pathway. Yeah, so I think these these both just lead to the same area. Okay. Not a bonus area, just a critical path. Oh, hey, can I get on the swing? Oh, I can't. Memories of rain. Log book, question, question, mark after the jusant. Shipwreck. Too tired to cry. I doze off every time we break. Exhausted by the exertion. Held up by my harness alone. I wait for the signal and jump into the squalls with the team, but I'm completely disoriented. Ever since Becca fell, we've all been roped together. I needed to start writing again so I don't drown in sadness. How long have we been off chasing clouds? I've lost track. Some people think we're crazy. Those of us who weren't before certainly are now, after going round and round in circles during that storm. The wind is howling all around us, and I'm trying not to take it personally. Bianca. God, yeah, if one of the other climbers fell, that would spook you bad. They're using a giant creature that can climb up the walls to haul stuff. I think I'm meant to go this way. Ah. 
I hope this isn't where I've been, but I don't remember this thing up there that I can shoot my line to, so I don't think I've been here. I could go up, but I also could totally get to over there. All right, now we've got a nice updraft. Come on. Oh, it let up. All right, hold on. We gotta get our stamina back. That should do it. Yes. What is that noise? It sounds like a whale. Oh, being in the wind is really burning my stamina. Yeah, best stay on this side if I can. That's probably the critical path. Greetings. I waited for your craftspeople to arrive several sleeps ago, but they never landed. When can I expect you? We're patching things up as best we can, but the wind is carrying away everything in its path, and the roof won't hold out much longer. The situation is getting urgent. 
I hope this reply doesn't reach you too late. The relays have been malfunctioning recently. I apologize, but due to the storm, we're no longer able to travel to your altitude. The danger is too great. My only advice is to take shelter. An emergency shelter is being set up here for you, for you heights dwellers. May rain fall on you and your loved ones. You have my full support. The Jusant continues to carry the ocean away. Last we heard, on the sun side, the temperature keeps on rising. Here a storm is raging and doesn't seem to be letting up. Everything around us is coming to a standstill. Or maybe we've been at a standstill for too long. We won't be able to nest at the mill much longer. That I know. But we can't leave without putting up a fight. In the meantime, we've entrusted our little Ollie to my sibling. They're traveling downward with their family, like most of the other Heights dwellers. Oli should be safe under the stone. Already missed my little nestling smile. We'll see each other again when the clouds decide. Now I'm once again not sure what the critical path is. Down here or up the crack? I mean, down usually doesn't lead to the critical path because our ultimate destination is up and up. Okay, this is a bonus. So much underwater life. All sorts. I love the soft purple glow. Becca was right. The water creatures were incredible. Huge. So ballasts are real after all. It was their song I'd hear sometimes, between gusts of wind. Wait, yeah, so that's what we've been hearing. The water creatures. Wait, so they're the ballasts? 
I didn't realize ballasts were creatures. We only just caught a glimpse of them, but once we did, nothing else mattered. Everyone went quiet, watching them slowly disappear into the storm. For a long time, no one moved a muscle. Arlo shook his head, staring into space. For a moment, he looked like he'd lost his bearings, same as the rest of us. After the astonishment came the feverish preparations. Around me, the rope team got moving, sharpening their weapons and scanning the clouds. We needed to capture at least one of those flying water tanks. Even Sol ended up grabbing a harpoon. What other hope do we have of bringing the water back? He sounded almost apologetic, but I'm the one who's sorry. Bianca. Do you think the creature that I have with me is like a baby ballast? It seems watery. Every sleep, I tried to convince Arlo, Sol, and the others to stay. I even threw their harpoons away, at least the ones I could reach. But they were so determined to catch a sky giant and return with its water. To go back to the way life was before. But the way life was before is what brought us here. They ventured into the storm to hunt and never returned. I waited for them for a long time. Lost at sea. I grieved for them. Who else but me? They may be gone, but I treasure their memory. I still remember Nice's advice, Soul's laugh, and Arlo's furrowed brow. Sometimes my thoughts turn to my parents, to Emma, Gal, and Met. I wonder where they are and where they're going, if their thoughts drift up here sometimes. They live within me too. At first I kept track of my harvests, but as time went by, I ended up losing track. To survive, I became an earth scratcher too. What would you make of that, Becca? I'm probably doing it all wrong, but things are growing. Not bad for a girl from low tide. Note to self, I'll have to divide up my garden beds if I want to have enough hardtack for the cycles to come. I don't know when I decided to stay up in the crow's nest. It just happened. I'm happy here. I wish I could talk to the young Bianca who left low tide who only ever thought of leaving, moving, too impatient for a stationary world. She'd probably find this quite ironic, but this climb, already so long now, taught me to live in the present moment. It took me a while, but I finally put down roots. With each passing sleep, I understand it more clearly. The tower needs me, needs us all. It needs us to change, and if we have to change our way of being, might as well start here. I never belonged in low tide, a lighthouse keeper in an oceanless world, but since I met the ballasts, I feel like I found something I didn't know I'd lost, a fragile link to something bigger than myself, a mutual respect. I'm nothing compared to these water giants who swim through the storm, but they look at me with interest and curiosity. They watch me when I carve my scraps of wood, when I bring in the harvest, when I write, as if to learn or to remember. I want to stay here in case someone else is crazy enough to try to find them. They watch over me, and I watch over them in turn. As the ballasts draw near, the cliffs wake up. Even I feel like I stand taller and feel lighter, more alert. Younger, even? <laughs> These arthritic joints have creaked for a long time now, but you get the idea. 
I wonder how long the ballasts kept me company in my Spartan existence. We eventually left, one by one. I know they're out there somewhere, though. One of them stayed. Comes to see me from time to time like it's watching over me. We watch each other grow older. We go about our business, knowing the other's there. And that's enough. And it gives me someone to talk to. I'm happy. I'm where I'm meant to be. Where I need to be now. Bianca. See, talking about growing older and how one stayed behind and they just look after each other makes me wonder about us and our little friend. Are we Bianca and the Ballast reincarnated or something? Because I don't know how long ago all of this happened. How long has it been since that note was written? Look at the length of this crack.
Are we about to get a lift from a ballast? Oh my god. Yeah, this full-grown ballast is uh, about the same shape as our little friend. Oh, my friend, you have so many things on you. What is that? I guess just an anchor point. Does that mean we can't just... Oh! Uh-oh! I think I better get off this thing pretty quickly. Yeah. I probably can't set anchors just wherever I want. I'm no, you can. Wait, where did it go? I placed it, but it's like, just gone. Okay, that's, that's fine. the storm now. God, the scale of this tower is really breathtaking. Breathtaking vista. They just give up their life to get us here? Chapter 6. Ooh. 
Looks like this obelisk came down in an asteroid strike and just struck the top of this tower. Or meteor strike, asteroid strike, whichever. God, that's really breathtaking. Is that where all the water went? That looks like a ball of water. At first I thought it was just a very odd ethereal planet, but I think that's actually a gigantic ball of water. It's hard to tell because it's covered and iced over, but I think that might have been another ballast. I think many ballasts have made this journey. Yeah, I see a lot of snowy mounds that look quite ballast, ballast shaped. to use their power they barely have any that's so sad i think we need to climb the constellations Ah! 
All the staircases are broken. Oh, these ones are smooth. I don't think I can go anywhere from here. Um, but I could swing. Or, actually, wait. We can grab these larger knobs? Let's see if this works. No. Am I at the end of my rope? I think I am. Yeah, I seem to be. I think I gotta redo this. Yeah, I, I can't hook my line over here on the left. Just takes up too much of my rope. Oh, wait, though I have to to be able to swing. Hmm. Interesting. I do need to do that, don't I? I think so. we got over here. Oh, I'm close to the end of the rope, though. <laughs> almost there. Almost there. to the top.
I don't know if you have to keep switching sides, but figure why not. Feels right for some reason. try not using my anchors as much as possible so I get as much slack as possible. I don't think I will, so I'm going to put an anchor down. No, I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, I don't think I need to swing over there. I think I can just jump it. Looks like it's trying to spin, but it can't. Thank God, they were just hibernating.
Let's end with some quick thoughts on Jusant. That was absolutely wonderful. It was gorgeous. It felt great to play. It was interesting and had a, a really fascinating world. It had novel gameplay mechanics that I have never experienced before and were an absolute delight. It was cute. It was fun. It just... <laughs> Like, I have basically no... I think the only complaint I have is that I wish it was easier to tell what was the critical path and what wasn't. Because sometimes I missed some of the kind of collectible things and extra notes. But that's literally it. It was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. That is one of my favorite games in a long time. Just delightful. Yeah, that has been Jusant. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for watching.